Hi, I'm Giga Loopsy, and today I am with my beautiful model Grace. We're going to show you how to make a pretty rose crown. I'm super excited that we're doing the rose crown because it's spring and I love roses. They smell amazing. They do. I'll be using this uh, cake that I've put together which has tag red, tag pink, and tag white. And the tag red really does have the richest color for red. Um, some of the other reds have a little bit of an orange tank, uh, tint to them, and this is more of a pure red. So I like the tag the best. Um, and I've split these cakes together specifically for this rose. All right, so I have wet my 3 quarter inch flat brush, and I'm going to go right in the middle between the two colors. You can see how wet my paint is. It's a little bit too wet, so I'm going to keep going back and forth until my brush absorbs a little bit of that moisture. Back and forth. And I want it wet, but not too wet, so I want to test it to make sure it doesn't drip. And I think that might drip a little bit, so I'll go back and forth a little bit more, just to absorb it in. Get the brush loaded all the way back so it's nice and full. So to make a rose, my pink is going to be on the top, my red is going to be in the middle. I'm going to make, these are going to be the outside petals, and I just anchor around the red. I'm just going to make several of these petals, just kind of waving it a little bit. Flip my brush over. More petals there. I think we can fit one more in here. Just wiggle it back and forth. <laughs> Reload my brush. When you do a rose, you have to make sure that your colors are very crisp, so you have to reload a lot. Reload, and while that dries, I'm going to give her a rose bud on each side of her eye. So on the rose bud, we're just going to go make a similar to what we did that way, but the white's going to, sorry, the light pink's going to be at the top. And then we're going to come underneath and make a U shape so that it's on the bottom. And that makes a little rose bud. I'm going to get on this side. Pink is up. And then I come back around and swoop down like this. Reload my brush. I put a little bit more water on my brush, rubbing it back and forth to get that rich red and pink back in there again. And now that this is dry, we're going to come back with the pink on top. We're going to do like this, and then come down underneath to make the center of the rose, and then a petal on each side like this, cutting across. And with a little bit of glitter, we're going to glitter this before it dries. Close your eyes, baby. Put a little bit of glitter on each of these flowers. All right, now I have my leaf split cake that I've put together. And this has tag dark green, tag light green, and gold. And I'm going to only be using the light green and dark green with my three quarter inch flat brush. The leaves are going to be the same idea as the petals, or as the flower petals. We're going to come back through here halfway with the light green, halfway with the dark green, and scrub that into our brush back and forth. And we want it the same consistency, so I don't want it too wet and I don't want it too dry. You can see the bubbles and it's dripping. That's a little bit too wet. So I kind of want those bubbles to go away before I, that's when I know that it's about the right creamy consistency. You see the bubbles are getting smaller and it's getting better. That gives us a better consistency for the leaves. Then we're going to have the dark green on the outside and the light green on the inside. And I'm going to come right by her little rose here and just wiggle and make some pretty leaves. Flip it. Oops, so the dark green is on the outside still and come back in with that leaf. Then we're going to come on the other side over here and kind of wiggle it. Flip it and wiggle it again. And then we're going to give these little guys down here a little bit of green also. So we'll come and just give a little. If I start on the chiseled end and I put it straight up and down and then push to the side and then come straight, that gives another nice little leaf like that. Then we're just going to lace around the bottom. Start on the tip, push down. And come back onto the tip. Now for a little bit of detail work, we're going to use our Diamond Effects Pearl White. 
a medium round brush that's already wet, scrub it into the center of my paint. This is my empty part of my paint where it's already worn down. I can come back in here to get the right consistency. I swirl around the edge, scrub it into the side here, pick up some more dry paint until I get it just kind of a liquid consistency so that I can do some detail work where I can come up on a, on a sharper point to make some teardrops. Now I'm going to show you how to make some teardrops. So now that my, my um, brush is loaded, I'm going to start by applying pretty heavy pressure right here and then I come up to a point. Oh, I didn't come up to a very good point. Let's wipe that off with a little Q-tip. So I can push hard and then up to a point, push hard up to a point, and then do them in a little set of three right there. We're going to put a couple of teardrops on each side right here, push it up to a point, push it up to a point on each side, like that. Reload my brush with some white and I'm going to put three little uh, dots right here. One, two, three. And then we're going to come back with more white and make kind of like baby's breath. Just fill in wherever with some white, little white dots. Baby's breath and roses always go well together and you can kind of clump them into little groupings triangle groupings down along here. Anywhere that you think you could use a little fill in. We'll put some baby's breath. So now we're at the point of lipstick. Grace, do you want some lipstick today? All right, we're going to come back to our rose cake. Do you want pink or red? Pink. Pink. Get my little paintbrush loaded with water and some pink paint. Use this for her lipstick. And start with the little heart of her lip. Come down and down the other side. Fill it in right there. And her bottom lip. And we can dust it with a little bit of glitter. Close your mouth, babe. So pretty. All right, Grace, are you ready to see it? Okay. I think she likes it. Do that. <laughs> so that's our really simple rose crown. <laughs> I hope you liked it as much as she does. Was that helpful? If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you have questions, write them in the comment section below. But don't forget you need to subscribe. Oh, and check out my other videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.